Hello everybody, this is Strange Gamer back for the grand finale of the Water Washout Tournament. Yes, this is the final, and we have three combatants ready to wash away all of its opposition. We have the Spinosaurus, Brontokins, and Spinotector, and they will all play each other, with the one with the most points being declared the winner. Right, let's get on with the first matchup which sees Spinosaurus going up against Brontokins. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was taking a drink. <laughs> right, anyway, in the red corner we have the Spinosaurus. The Water Sword was quite effective in the semi-finals. Outsword in the Patagosaurus in the Water Sword fight. Anyway, in the blue corner we have the big shot himself, Brontokins. Although he did he did struggle a bit against the Barry in the semis. Well, until he dominated round three and one. But yeah, he kind of had a slow start. But the Brontokins is gonna need to be on his toes here. No, probably not. I mean they don't even need to be in second gear, they could probably win. Anyway. Here we go. Let's begin the final. Ooh, the Spinosaurus gets the first hit. Not too much damage done to Brontokins. Has a decent set of health, Brontokins does. Ooh, but can it take a water sword? Oh, big hit from the Spinosaurus. Two. And two, it's a tie! Come on, Brontokins, get a hit! Oh, here comes the hit from Brontokins. A critical move with a defense boost to boot. But no Anyanguira dive. And no Aqua Javelin. Not what Brontokins could have needed there, because defense boost is going to do nothing for it. Ooh, another crit though. Will help. And an Anyanguira dive this time. And all of a sudden... Oh, uh, wait, what? Wait. Oh. Sorry about that, there's a bit of lag then. Don't know where that came from. Ooh, no Aqua Javelin, but both of our combatants are even Stevens. Breathe. Oh, the Protokins! Coming from behind to defeat the Spinosaurus and take a 1-0 lead. Oosh. Brontokins looking really, really good on a quick... Well, not a slow start, but made up for by a big quick finish. Right, on the round two. Alrighty then, round two, and we're back at the beach. But will this round be a beach for pe... <laughs> I was going to say Pete, but for Brontokins? Or can the Spinosaurus dig deep and equalise? Remember, the winners will get three points, the losers will get zilp, and the and it'll be one point each if it's a draw. Ooh, the Spinosaurus gets the first hit, but it did get the first hit last time, and it didn't make a difference. Ooh, he gets off a neck crusher. Spinosaurus on top early on, but we saw how that served it in the last round. Ooh! Wow, it's got scissors, it's got a peak and it's got a rock off. And the Spinosaurus, well, pretty much mince meets Brontokins in that round and evens the score. Right, now on to the final round. Right, on to round three. And well, I should mention a little stipulation that could happen, and if it does happen, I will explain how I will work. Okay, so, basically, if the top two have the same number of points at the end of all this, then it will go down to head-to-head. -head. So, for example, if Brontokins and Spinosaurus have the same number of points, but Brontokins wins their matchup, then Brontokins will be top. Okay? Just to be clear, and, well, if it's a freeway tie, then we did, well, you won't see the video because I'll just do it again.
Ooh, we start with a tie. Wonder if we'll actually see Spectral destroy in this tournament. Tournament, probably not, because it's quite difficult to fill that bar up. Oosh! Neck crusher from the Spinosaurus once again getting the first hit, and once again getting a crit. Oh yes! Poor Brontekins is getting slaughtered. And once again, we're in a situation where Bronthakin's HP is in the red and the Spinosaurus's health is in the green. Okay, that's... Paper? This will probably be rock. Oh, it's scissors. Well, defense boost is not going to help, is it? No onion Guira dive. Wow, no Aqua Javelin. I think it's as I said in another video, like, if defense boost activates, then Aqua Javelin will not. Oh, that's game over, Bront begins. And the big behemoth does topple. Mainly because it didn't even get a hit. Got like three hits in the whole match. While Spinosaurus got like ten. The random number generator was not kind to Bront begins, But the Spinosaurus does take the win. And will be taking three points. Right then. On to our next matchup. Which I think, yeah, once again, is going to be Spinotector versus Spinosaurus. Alrighty then, and in the red corner, well, we have the Spinosaurus. Oh no, Spinotector, sorry. <laughs> it's going to be confusing, isn't it? Yes, this, di this Spinotector has been mightily impressive, dominating Spiny in the semis. Dominating, I think it was Nemegdosaurus. Dominant, well, doing well against Alpha Irritator. But it's going to be a tough ask because in the blue corner we have the armor killer himself, the Spinosaurus. The normal one. We saw how well it did against Brontokins, but can it keep up the momentum? Remember, a win here for the Spinosaurus will guarantee his place on the throne of this, of the winners of this. I, I, I don't even know what I'm saying. A win for Spinosaurus, this one, will guarantee him the winner of this tournament. Got that in the end. Ooh, it's a crit hit from the Spinotector. Good start from Spinotector. Ooh, really good start from Spinotector. A tail smash to boot. Boosh, boosh, boosh. We are gone. Just taking a quick set. And another tie. Oh, a spinal tech the winner. Oh, I kinda wanted another tie because it would have been it would have filled his bar up then, wouldn't it? And we'd have Dino Tech the tie. We haven't done that once this whole tournament. But oh well. The Spino Tech the dominating in the first round against the Spinosaurus and taking a 1-0 lead. But can he keep it? Let's find out in round two. Alright, round two. And yeah, we know the combatants. We got two Spinosauruses. One Spinotector and one normal Spinosaur. One with a scissor crit and one with a rock. But which one of these brutes will take the win this time? A win for Spinotector here will give him three points against the Spinosaurus. And it will put him on course to win the tournament should he defeat Brontokins in the next matchup. But if the normal Spinosaurus wins this round, then we go to the next round and if he wins that one too, he will win the whole tournament. Regardless of the next match. Ooh, this could be just what the Spino needed. A water sword with a light recovery to boot. Oh, look at all that damp, bloody hell. Loads of damage. Like, Spinosaurus isn't really known for its high crit output, but... Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, we have a tie. And that means it's Ocean Panic time. 
We saw how effective Ocean Panic was for Spinal Tap during previous matches. Can it help him here? <laughs> he looks bloated. He looks bloated there, didn't he, the Spinosaur? Oosh. Ooh, but no shockwave effect. But it does do some damage. As does the Spinosaurus, and I think he might have just evened the score. Yeah, that is 1-1 one, one between the Spinotector and Spinosaurus. Well, this next map, this next round is going to be key now, because whoever wins this will most likely go on to win the tournament. If the Spinotector wins, all he needs to do is defeat Brontokins. And he's won the tournament. Well, a defeat or a draw will be enough. Anyway, let's move on to the third round. Right, as I was saying, on the, on the round three. And if the Spinal Tector wins this matchup, all he needs to do is draw or beat Brontokins in the next round, and he will win the tournament. If the Spinosaurus wins, then he will automatically win the tournament, regardless of the next result. Although, well, I don't can Brontokins. Yeah. Actually, no, Brontokins can't win. Oh, oops, I forgot to put the random number generator back up. Six and four. Ooh, the water sword. Yeah, even if Brontokins wins the next round, there'll be a tie because the Spinosaurus beat him. If the, and the Spino Tector will have to beat the Spinosaurus. Yeah, so it'll be a tie. Ooh, speaking of ties, there's a tie. Wow, this Spinosaurus has really stepped up. And all of a sudden he's on the brink of winning! I think he's won! I think the Spino's won! Well, I, I should hope he's won because the elves in the red. Ladies and gentlemen, it is all over, and the Spinosaurus reigns victorious and wins the Water Washout Tournament, which means he joins the elusive ranks of Mapusaurus and Pachycephalosaurus in tournament winners. Oh, Mega Raptor as well, because he won my tournament, because I won my own tournament. Yeah. Yep. So that that confirms it. Spinosaurus is the Water Washout Champion. Right, on to the next matchup, which is kind of pointless now, but this one will be for third... Well, this will be for second place. Alrighty then, and here to restore a bit of pride in the red corner, we have Brontokins. Got pretty well beaten by the Spinosaurus in the end. Oh, and I've done it again. I forgot the random number generator. Oh, and I've done... Oh, hang on. There. Oh, but the oh, bloody hell is all going wrong. <laughs> right, there, there. Right, okay, we'll go back. Anyway, in the blue corner we have Spino Tector, we have a Clash of Armor Dinosaurs. Okay, this should be a fun matchup. Even though they fight for third, second, this should be a fun match. And I am looking forward to this. So, we're going to finish the tournament on a high. Um, yeah, I should also mention what will come next. Well, it will be a mini tournament now for a quite a long time because next up will be a Christmas tournament will be a Christmas tournament which I have planned um, if you have any suggestions of what you would like to see in that tournament I'm happy to hear them as long as they're like Christmas themed don't pick something like Black T-Rex and say it's Christmassy because it's the ghost of Christmas you have to come okay that ain't gonna work so like pick something that looks like Santa Claus Oh, actually, yeah, that's a good one. Megalosaurus would be a good one. It, it was in the Christmas special of Dinosaur King. It was the, like the new dinosaur. So yeah, pick something Christmassy. Don't be a Scrooge about it. Oh, we got the, um, I think this is paper paper type from the Spinosaurus activating there. Ooh, but Brontokins gets the hit. Big damage from Brontokins. Anyway, yeah, after the Christmas tournament, then we'll, then we'll start my big tournament, the Grand Tournament, to kick off the year. And then there'll be a mini tournament after that, which will probably be like, will probably be a lightning tournament. 
Anyway, off track, back to the match. Brontekins is about to win, I think. Yep, Brontekins wins the first round. With an overkill and Yanguera dive. Uh, yeah, not much competition there from Spino Tech. The Brontekins were pretty much on top. Anyway, on the round two. Oh, you know, then on the round two. And will Brontekins reclaim some pride and finish second? Or will the Spino Tech have things to say about that? Okay, yeah, it's paper, paper. I always get confused which type this guy is. Ooh, the rock. And a paper. Boosh. Yeah, paper, paper. <coughs> Sorry. Paper, paper type basically means if you keep using paper, then the moves will like shake like it did last round. And then they'll become stronger if you get the pep. Okay? That's basically what paper, paper type is. Scissors, yeah. And that's basically what scissors, scissors type is, but with scissors. And then rock, rock type is with rock. Now, see, see, see what I mean? He's used paper twice, and the moves are going like that, which means if he gets a hit off, it'll be even, it'll do more damage. Ah, oh, damn it, here's a tie. Kind of open to show you. But no matter. Ooh, the Spino Tech, though, finally striking back with a crit. And does have a slight lead here. And hopefully these bars will fill up. Because I would like to see some armor. Ooh, come on. Let's have a tie and then we can have some Dino Tech the time. Come on. One or a four. Uh, okay, Brontekins does strike back, though. With an onion guira dive and a defense boost to boot. Ooh, Aqua Javelin! Okay, so Aqua Javelin does activate when the can activate after defense boost. Okay, that's fair enough. But that means that um, we ain't gonna see Dino Tactor. Yeah, quite a close match this one. Oh the Spino Tactor though! Taking a... Ooh, not yet! Yeah, I'm gonna see Dino Tector. Okay, I got into the code. Give me a sec. Here we go. It's Dino Tector time. Dino Tector. Oh, and... Ooh, here we go. Oh, oh, don't be a tie. That's disappointing. Okay, that's really disappointing. But... A tie it is. So it's still 1 0 to Spinal Tector. And yes, the reason that's a tie is because both of them would have died normally, but the game doesn't do ties, so it just randomly picks a winner. I think it's always like the left side is the guy. Left side guy is the winner. They always pick the left, but nope, that was a tie. Right, on the round three. Oh, we're in the Alpha Arena. Yay! Yep, it's the third, third round clash. This is the final matchup of this tournament. Because we're not doing any more if they tie. Well, if they tie, the Spine Attector wins. But if Brontekins wins, we're declaring it a draw. Sod it. <laughs> uh, maybe I can look back on the recording and see which one had the most health left when they won. Then maybe I'll do a winner based on that. If they draw again, but hopefully they won't. Ooh, Brontekins gets the first hit. A defense boost and an Anyang Guira dive. Tune push. Not too much damage there. Huh? Okay, that makes up for it a bit. No Aqua Javelin. Wow. For a dinosaur that has about a thousand technique, Aqua Javelin does not activate often, does it? I think maybe defense boost has something to do with that. I don't know. But... What I do know is that Brontekins is on top so far. And we're both got them. It's going to be a tie again, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. Well, I'm definitely I'm definitely certain that Spinal Tector had less health when it beat Brontekins in the first round. So as it stands, if Brontekins gets a hit off... Oh, well, he is getting a hit. And it is going to be enough. And Brontekins is going to win. 
Okay, so the Spino Tech to win the first round. Next round was a draw. Then Brontakins wins. Okay. I will deduce that Brontakins wins the matchup. Purely based on the fact that when he defeated Spino Tector, he had more health left than Spino Tector did when he defeated Brontakins. So by that logic, I will say that Brontakins came in second place, while Spino Tector came in third. But that doesn't really matter because the winner of the tournament is Spinosaurus. So yeah, that is it for the water washout tournament. I hope you've I hope you've enjoyed getting wet. Now you need to go in and dry off with a towel. And this is Stranger Gamer signing out.